Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on algebra. The trapezium ABCD has four angles and all the angles are in degrees. Show that 7x plus 4y is equal to 390. Now, trapezium is a quadrilateral, which means when we add all the angles of the quadrilateral, we should get an angle of 360 degrees. So let us write it down over here. So angle A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 360 degrees. Now the value of each angle is given in terms of X and Y. Now let us substitute the values of each angle in places of A, B, C and D. And we get it as, so A is 2X plus 5, B is 3Y minus 20, C is 4x minus 5 and D is given as x plus y minus 10. Now let us combine the like terms. So we have 2x plus 4x which gives us 6x and plus 1x. So it is total of 7x. Now let us combine the y terms. 3y plus y that gives us a total of plus 4y. And combining all the numbers together will give us an answer of minus 30 is equal to 360. Now if you look at this equation, we can see that the constant term is on the other side of the equation. So let us bring the negative 30 on the other side. So we get 7x plus 4y is equal to 360 and negative 30 turns to positive 30. So total we get an angle of 7x plus 4y is equal to 390. So this is the equation which they have asked us to show in this part 1 of the question. Now let us look at the second part of this question. Show that 2x plus 3y is equal to 195. Now if we look at the diagram we can see that the line AD is parallel to the line BC because the two arrows indicate the two lines are parallel to each other. Which means AB is acting as a transversal line and it cuts the two lines at point A and at point B. Hence, using the properties of the parallel lines, angle A and angle B add together because they are the co-interior angles and they add up to give us 180 degrees. So we can write here angle A plus angle B is equal to 180 degree. That is the co-interior angles of parallel lines AD and BC. Now let us substitute the value of angle A which is 2x plus 5 and let us substitute the value of angle B which is given as 3y minus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. Now let us write it as 2x plus 3y and plus 5 and minus 20 gives us negative 15 is equal to. Now let us gather the constants on one side of the equation. So we get 2x plus 3y is equal to 180 plus 15. So we get a total angle of 2x plus 3y is equal to 195 degrees or just 195 as mentioned in the given equation. So we have shown that the addition of angle B and angle A gives us an angle of 195 degrees. Now let us look at the last part of this question. Solve these simultaneous equations. So let us write down the equations given in part 1 and part 2. So the first equation was 7x plus 4y equal to 390 and the second equation was 2x plus 3y is equal to 195. So there are two ways of solving the simultaneous equation. One is the substitution method and the second is the elimination method. You can use either of the two methods. Here to solve this equation I am going to use the second method which is the elimination method. So let us start solving this. 
Now let us multiply the first entire equation by the coefficient of x which is 2 and let us multiply the entire second equation by the coefficient of the first equation of x which is 7. So we are just cross way multiplying them. So here for the first equation 2 multiplies with 7x and we are going to get it as 14x plus 2 times 4y gives us 8y and 2 times 390 gives us a value of 780. Now let us multiply the entire second equation by 7. So 7 times 2x gives us 14x plus 7 times 3y gives us 21y and 7 times 195 gives us a value of 1365. Now after doing this, let us change the signs of the entire second equation. So here it's plus 14x, so let us make it as minus 14x. Plus 21y, let us change it to minus 21y. And plus 1365, let us change it to a negative 1365. Now when we do this, we can see that in the first equation we have plus 14x and then let us add it with negative 14x. So they both cancel out each other and give us a value of 0. And here we have plus 8y and negative 21y and that gives us a value of negative 13y. And here plus 780 and minus 1365 gives us a value of minus 585. Now here let us write it again negative 13y is equal to negative 585. So we get the value of y as negative 585 divided by negative 13 and that gives us a value of y which is 45. So we got the value of y as 45. Now when they tell us to solve the simultaneous equation we have to find the value of x as well as y. And since we have got the value of y, let us find out the value of x by using either of the original equations. I am going to use the first equation over here. So it is 7x plus 4y is equal to 390. So let us write it 7x plus 4 times the y value we got it as 45 just now. We will substitute here in place of y and this is equal to 390. So we get 7x plus 180 is equal to 390 or we can write 7x is equal to 390 minus 180 by taking the plus 180 on the other side of the equation. So we get 7x is equal to 210 or x is equal to 210 over 7 which is nothing but x equal to 30. So we got the value of x as 30 and the value of y as 45. This is how we solve the simultaneous equations and this is called as the elimination method. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.